The racing was unreal at the last round of the ATV National Motocross Championship at Ironman Raceway in Indiana. Joel Hetrick taking the lead from Brandon Hogue, and then a cavalry up front. Bryce Ford, Chad Weenan, and then eventually Jeffrey Rastrelli and Nick Janusa would join the party. On the last lap, Weenan gets Ford for second, while Hetrick takes another big Moto win. Similar in Moto2, Hetrick out front, great racing behind him between Rastrelli, Ford, Weenan, and more. Rastrelli goes over a berm, Weenan moves up, and then another late pass for Weenan on Ford, but long behind Hetrick, who is back to his dominant ways in this series. Ford and Weenan join him on the podium. Now we're headed to Weenan's home track in Illinois. Can he turn things around? Racer TV stays right here in the great Midwest after an excellent weekend at Ironman Raceway in Indiana. We are at Sunset Ridge in Illinois. Of course, got the kids here and the amateurs, all part of an ATV National Motocross weekend, which will include the pro racing that we'll cover today. Good job by Sunset Bob and everyone for setting this track up. Occasional spills, look like everyone's okay. Now, a neat little sidebar to this event, this is the Military Appreciation Race. So you see Max Linquist machine, it's got the camo livery, Dane Molander, same thing on a Suzuki. Look at that helmet. That is rad. And so everyone getting in, that was uh, Rastrelli's number 28, everyone getting in on the theme for the Military Appreciation Event. That is awesome. You got a blue Yamaha. Why not put the U.S. Navy Blue Angels graphics on the machine? Logan Stanfield's number 55. Janusa running the urban camo. Ford got the army style font on his machine same thing for his brother bryce that is really cool let's check in with the podium man just looking forward to sunset at sand like my place and so just looking to start the day off with qualifying good and then um hopefully pull some good starts and ride my pace i feel like you know we got a really good chance this year at uh, achieving some goals and, and really you know competing for second place so just looking to give it my all out there and hopefully get back up on the podium and keep this going we mentioned the cool military graphics. Chad Weenan, a great story there. That battleship, his grandfather, actually worked on that in the Navy. Let's check in. All right, making our way up to the Midwest, to Illinois. This is my home track. Beautiful day we have for us. Um, man, the, the fan following and the friends and family, everybody come out and show up big here. And uh, I want to go out there and make them proud today and uh, do the best I can. I want to race towards the front. And uh, track was gnarly yesterday for practice for the amateurs. But uh, all in all, looking forward to the day. And uh, hopefully you have a good result at the end of the day. And Wienanen is in a rare situation, nothing to lose. Usually plays the consistency card, but that blew up this year with a collarbone injury. And he's way back in points, trying to chase down the great Joel Hetrick, your defending champ and series leader. So we'll see if Wienan has any home cooking to make it work as we look at qualifying action here. Nick Janusa on the 15. Oh, I knew this quad would look good, Hogue, and that Blue Angels theme. Beautiful right there. And there's Weenan using all six foot four of that frame, that leverage in the rollers. He's really good when the track gets rough and sandy, which <laughs> that's exactly what we have at his home track. Probably not a coincidence there. On board here with Jeffrey Rastrelli. It's a good look. Max Linquist gonna air it out. Stanfield. Kevin Saar right there. There's Wolf. Allred. And Cody Ford. There's Dane Molander through those rollers. Aaron Salinas on the number seven. Vincent Merman on 535. And Adam Ulrich on the 68. Hedrick on top in qualifying. Janusa and Hogue, second and third. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by CST Tires.
Welcome back. It's ATV National Motocross from Sunset Ridge. The Wayne fans are here in mass and a lot of them out on the track as well because we always tie in the minis and amateurs into the ATV motocross scene along with the pros. And as the checkered flag flies on their event, we focus now on the pro class and the man who's leading the points, Joel Hittrick. So Joel in the Phoenix Racing Yamaha, what a comeback. There was a round two crash between he and Wienan, and he has won everything since. Trying to keep it going. Uh, pretty excited for the race. I'm on a seven moto win streak right now, so I'm trying to make it a uh, nine this weekend. And did a lot of sand testing back at home. Did some tuning with Twisted Development. Got this thing ripping. Just ready to go out there and uh, put down some consistent laps. Um, like I said, I'm feeling good. The bike's working awesome. And I uh, just want to go out there and have some fun. We'll see how the sand testing pays off. This is the one type of terrain that usually does favor Chad Wienan. And he has been able to get Hedrick a couple times at this track. See if he can do it today. First moto is ready to go. Card is up, it is sideways, and we're racing. And Hedrick just launches into turn one with the whole shot. And that's gonna make life really tough on everyone else who can challenge him. You got Janusa and Rastrelli, second and third. And Janusa putting some pressure on, almost ran into the back of Hedrick. And you can see this track already getting rough. And look at the corner speed for both Hedrick and Janusa. I mean, they absolutely sent it. And now, Hedrick trying to get away. Leaning up to fourth, Hogue fifth, here on lap one. See some water thrown down here. And I think Hedrick, as he's matured through the years, we know the one lap speed is there. We see it in qualifying almost every week. But I think sometimes he takes the first lap or two to try to just sort everything out. He knows he's certainly going to lose more than you can gain if you get it wrong. You get it right, maybe you get a little bit of a lead. You get it wrong, you're going to the back of the pack. Now he's starting to feel it and pull away as this Janusa Rastrelli wean in battle begins to catch on. Oh, now we got Ford and Hogue starting to close up as well. And look at this duel. Rastrelli, he wants to get around Janusa, but not leave the door open too much for Wienan. And look at this track. It is getting so rough so quickly, not slowing Hedrick down one bit. Oh, that is so fun to watch, that left-hander. And it's just going to get more and more whooped out as the day goes on. Kevin Saar up in the mix. I like to see that. All right, so Janusa, who I feel has picked up the game a bit this year, the master of the ATV pit bikes. They take all the Honda 90s, and they do some amazing things on them. And he's got a brand new facility in New Jersey that he's been working on. And yes, that is Sandy as well. Anyone who's uh, lived or ridden in the New Jersey area can tell you Pine Forest actually a lot more than you would think. So I think these sandy conditions are working for Janusa as he tries to hold on for second. And then certainly Rastrelli out of Florida, no stranger to sand. And then Wienan, yes, he's from Illinois. Yes, this is his home track, but even further, he has his own facility in Florida near Daytona where he gets to ride sand in the winter time. So that is why this is the one track that I think they might have thought Hedrick might be vulnerable. He's from Pennsylvania, maybe not a sand specialist, but he has it figured out today. Battle is on, and Wienan gets to the inside of Rastrelli to take over third place. Can he get to Janusa, who's pulled away a great ride for the rider out of the Garden State? Stay with us. Great racing here, Sunset Ridge, Illinois, ATV Motocross, Phoenix Racing, Yamaha man getting away. That is Joel Hetrick. We had a big battle brewing for second at one point. Now it might be down to two men. Nick Janusa has done a spectacular job of getting away from that battle. Chad Wien and eventually getting around Jeffrey Rastrelli. He's in third in the white fly racing gear. Can he close the gap down on Janusa? Salinas has either crashed or ran into an equipment problem. I'll try to follow up on that in a second. And here's Janusa trying to ignore the pressure that's building from behind. It is a crash actually for Salinas. Hope he's okay. And here's Wienan. This is what Chad does. He just wears these guys down. Now Janusa trying to keep that machine as wide as possible. 
to hold on to second. That will be huge for him. And Weenan is working angles in every corner as Hector just continues to prove he's the best in the business in this game right now. Huge lead. So the battle is on for second. And another one for fourth. Bryce Ford has caught Rastrelli. I thought we might get all four of those riders together. Instead, it's two two-rider duels. Oh, Hedrick with a rough ride. But able to hang on to it. And there goes Weenan up the inside. Putting the horsepower down on the Weenan Motorsports machine. And a pass by Ford on Rastrelli. These two have had great duels this year. But today, Ford gets the better of him. And Ford's going to want to make a podium run. So this is a critical juncture. I don't think Ford be able to get to Wienan, and I don't think Wienan will be able to get to Hetrick. But this is the duel. Can Janusa hold on for third? And remember, we'll race two motos, as we always do. And then we'll calculate both together. So the overall podium won't be decided only on this battle, but it certainly improves your odds a ton if you can carry a third or a second into the second moto. And I wonder if Hedrick just goes into energy conservation mode. You ride this sand, you're back. And the ATV side, your back always hurts, but it's exceptionally bad on a, sound, a sand track like this. And Ford is there with Janusa now. Hetrick pitching it in. Just looks incredible this year. Now they have that Yamaha dialed in for years with doing it with Hondas. The Honda was a great platform for a long, long time, but really hadn't been updated, I think, since 2005, 2006. The Yamaha's had another generation since then, and once this Phoenix team figured it out, they have been nearly unbeatable, and they haven't had some of the bad luck that always struck them with the Honda. And you wipe that from the record, and good luck beating this guy. Incredible what Joe Hetrick has done. Meanwhile, Janusa and Ford heating up with Weenan just ahead. And Rastrelli digging hard, wants to get back in it. As for Weenan, didn't have a shot because he started about fourth or fifth. And he'll pack it in, get ready for Moto2 to try to challenge for the overall. Hey, Rastrelli is closing a bit on that third, fourth place battle. Okay, final lap now, white flag is out. How will this turn out? Oh, you can see Ford is desperate to try to make the move. He looks over at Janusa. Janusa shuts the door. Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board with Janusa for that battle. There's second place, Weenan. Ford still can't find a way by. Hedrick in the lap traffic, trying to polish off another moto win. Ford just pushing through the takeoff of that jump to try to keep it low. Everything he can do to make a move on Janusa here. Will it be enough? Checkered flag, Tetrick, another moto win. And here we go, doors open. Ford's gonna make a mad dash, side by side, and Ford gets it done. Unbelievable. SSI decals, whole shot award there went to Hedrick quickly. They've got to reset, reload, and try to rest as we get ready for Moto2. So to review that one, that was a last turn pass that put Bryce Ford in the third as we get ready for Moto2. And Hedrick just has these starts dialed now. Another SSI decals, whole shot award for him, but Whedon is there in second. And that's the battle everyone in Illinois wanted to see. And again, don't necessarily judge on this first lap. 
maybe in between him back there, will Hedrick try to put in a couple of burner laps and Ford a better start this time. He is in third with Hogue coming through next. Oh, this is going to get good. Yeah, I think Hedrick is trying to get away, and he takes the measure now. He realizes it's Chad Wienan behind him, and he's got to go. So this is it. Can Wienan keep Hedrick in sight and apply some pressure? Last year, they split motos at this track. And Wienan got the overall win, the 2-1, to Hedrick's 1-2. But that was then, and this is now, and Hedrick is on a flyer. Rastrelli and Hogue through next. And I'm also curious about Ford. He has been inching up on the pace of Wienan the last two seasons. Can he keep Wienan in sight? Oh, look at that. I believe Wienan has stabilized, if not closed the gap. And Hedrick not pulling away any longer. It's what the fans wanted to see. Oh, Molander is out. Some bad luck there for the rookie. Battle is on up front. Hedrick versus Wienan for the overall win. Here at Wienan's home track. And you know the fans, they're partisan. They want Wienan to get it done, will he? Stay with us. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CSD Tires. Joel Hetrick starting to pull back away from Chad Wienan. Chad Wienan a little flurry there a few laps in to keep it close, but it's not going to happen now. Now he's all alone in second, and we're left with some battles behind. You got fourth, third. Hogue Rastrelli going at it for fourth and fifth, but Joel Hetrick is just an absolute beast on this Phoenix racing machine. And there's Hetrick. Well, the sand testing has paid off. He's got this surface and every other one absolutely mastered. You're watching one of the best to ever do it. Props to great champions of the past, including Wienan himself and my hero growing up, Gary Denton. Denton and uh, Wienan tied with the all-time mark of championships in the sport. Tim Farr, Donnie Banks. I think of Donnie Banks as a legend. When you track, it's rough and rugged like this. And the battle is on right now between Rastrelli and Hogue. That was a brief pass. And then Hogue gets it back. And then Rastrelli answers again. Here is Jeffrey. Hogue back behind him. And for a long time, this championship was not motocross only. It was called the Grand National Championship, and we ran TT-type tracks and motocross tracks together. And it always led to a blend of styles. I, I mentioned a guy like Donnie Banks, so fast in the rough stuff. Same thing with Wienan, because they're tall guys. And for Hedrick, a little bit smaller. And for him to be able to do this on this rough racetrack really shows how well-rounded he is in his game these days. And this battle continues into one of the roughest sections and a good job by Rastrelli to protect and get the drive through those rollers. Hold off the pack behind him. Joel Hetrick. And Chad Wien in one, two. I think everyone expected that. What would the order be? Joel Hetrick has proven himself today big time. Max Lindquist and Nick Janusa have rolled into the battle. That is for fourth. Shout out to Bryce Ford, all alone, but running solid. Another podium, perhaps in route for the young man from Texas. And now the white flag is out, so we'll keep tabs on Hetrick going for another 1-1 and that battle to stay inside the top five. That'll be coming to the checkers right now. There is Ford in third.
and Joel Hetrick gonna run the win streak up. Said he had seven in a row coming into this. Looking at eight and nine today at Sunset Ridge. Only lap traffic and see him now. Incredible what he is doing. Got that title last year, got the consistency, still has the speed and still winning. Joel Hetrick takes on all comers and takes them down. Good job. Win in second, fourth, third, and there Estrella holds on for fourth place. All the glory goes to Hetrick with the 1-1 and further stretching the points lead. Let's talk to our podium. Just really excited to be back up on the box. That's just a goal of mine this year. Um, just going to keep trying to stay in second place, chip away, and just really try to stay ahead of Chad. So I'm just going to work on these next three weeks being better and uh, looking forward to going back to Bud's Creek. I'll see you guys there. Man, I gave it I gave my all every single moto, every lap, and uh, I'm going to keep keep on digging around and uh, see what I can find and see if I can find a little more speed. But I'm going to enjoy this, this weekend with all my friends, family, and fans out here. And uh, here we are, Sunset Ridge. Thank you. Uh, fastest qualifier, two hole shots, and two moto wins. Feels really good. Nine moto win streak for me, so that's even cooler. I think that's the biggest one I've ever had, and uh, extending the points lead feels great. And uh, to win at this track, obviously, I've only done it probably once in my career, so marking that number two for me here feels great. We're heading to Butch Creek in a couple weeks, and uh, I'm looking forward to that one. It's a new venue, so I think they'll have a good track for us, and uh, we got some flat track racers going to be there, too. I think it's going to be a good weekend. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you there. CST Tires race recap summed up like this. Joel Hedrick, as he said, fastest qualifier, whole shots, race wins. He had it all dialed today. Chad Wienan had to do some work in Moto1 to get up to third and then eventually second around a very strong ride by Nick Janusa. But there's the pass for the number two spot, checkered flag to Hedrick. And then right down to the end, Ford able to take it from Janusa to claim third. Moto2, well, the fans wanted Wienan to start with Hedrick, and he did but he wasn't able to keep pace. Dane Molander with a problem. The header pipe came off of that machine again. Had that happened at Daytona also. The closest battle was between Hogue and Rostrelli for fourth behind Ford and Weenan and Hedrick with the win. Big points lead now. I'm Jason Wygant for everyone at Racer TV. So long.